Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It is the 4th of April. It is 2017, and it will not stop. This push is unlike this. The only time I've seen the elites pushing something this hard is when it was war with a country that didn't do anything to us. I hate to say that as a veteran from a family of veterans, but it's a fact. Our country is now just a bunch of dicks that just invade other countries and take over for gold, lithium, oil, whatever, or just to kill a bunch of people because we are being we are being run by a bunch of invisible, untouchable elitists. I have to go back to what Woodrow Wilson said back in 1916, maybe even further. I don't remember. Let me check right now. This is a quote from a U.S. president, and you can find it easily. It's not hidden whatsoever. This is the guy that traded the presidency to the Federal Reserve. He allowed the creature from Jekyll Island. In 1913, he is the president that allowed the Federal Reserve to take hold of the United States currency and put us in the predicament that we're in now, where we have at least $20 trillion worth of debt, which is probably more like 120 or 220 with derivatives and all the unseen expenses that our Social Security numbers back. We are the collateral. Believe it or not, you can look it up. It's really easy. According to Woodrow Wilson, this is one of his famous quotes, since I entered politics, I have chiefly had men's views confided to me privately. Some of the biggest men in the United States in the field of commerce and manufacture are afraid of something. They know that there is a power somewhere so organized, so subtle, so watchful, so interlocked, so complete, so pervasive, that they better not speak above their breath when they speak in condemnation of it. Now, who was he referring to? I'll show you. The Jesuits, the same people that backed Donald Trump, the same people that usurped the Vatican in plain sight. The black pope is now our regular pope. The same people that are running CERN, the same people that are running the Lucifer telescope in Arizona. This is the power that's so complete, it's so pervasive that no one better speak above it when they speak in condemnation. This is exactly it. And here's some serious facts. Hitler mod modeled his dreaded SS army and party after the organizational structure of the Jesuits in the Roman Catholic Church. All roads lead back to the Vatican for a reason. That would be the great beast with seven You see what I mean? You see what I'm saying? At any rate, let me get back to the story that I started with. But I just wanted to show you this, that this is no secret that it's all coming out in the open right now. Even on the stock market, this is their news. This is Market Watch, and they're talking about upgrading humans will become the next billion dollar industry. This is coming whether people like it or not. People like Nicholson 1968 that have been shouting about this from the rooftops for the last 10 years are now vindicated. Nicholson went through so much crap with all the other people trolling him, telling him he was out of his mind. Everywhere you look now, they're talking about transhumanism, how we're going to have to, it's not going to be a choice, how we're going to have to upgrade our consciousness, how we're going to have to change the human body using technology, we're going to have to get implants and everything else to keep up with the AI that they invented in the first place because we won't be able to, we won't be able to stand up to it. AI will be stronger, smarter, and better when installed in things like I've shown you for the longest time from Boston Dynamics. Humanity doesn't stand a chance, and that's the exact agenda. This is what the end of the world's going to look like. They're not going to nuke the entire place. They're simply going to breed humanity out of existence. And if you don't upgrade, you die. This is insanity. And this is a video that Nicholson 1968 just put up, and he's showing how they are coming out. I mean, I put this video up as well yesterday, but Nicholson explains it even better. For those that don't know who Nicholson 1968 is, it's about time that you met him. Because he's been talking about this before any of us even had a clue how bad, how fast, and how pervasive this was going to get. This is everywhere. Now they're talking about it on the stock market. That's how bad it is. It's on the cover of National Geographic magazine. We went from tra transgender one month 
to transhumanist the next month. You think there's a little bit of an agenda going on? At any rate, be prepared. You better beg God, our creator, for the full armor of God, because that's the only thing that's going to protect us. I got a funny feeling that they're spraying this stuff like I keep saying over and over, and I'm going to continue to say it over and over. I believe the step up in chemtrails is so that we, even for those that won't take this transhumanist upgrade, we're going to all inhale it, and it's going to start doing it on its own. Self-replicating DNA or black goo. Richie from Boston, like, share, subscribe, or don't. Pretend that this isn't happening. Make sure this isn't real. Every single solitary day, this is coming out now. This is happening whether we like it or not. Like, share, subscribe, or don't. I'm out.